Welcome back to Stock Labs Market Recaps. We just finished the third week of April. So just finished up Friday the 22nd. Market closed. Market closed down for the day, down for the week. Uh, it was actually pretty tough overall. Um, if we take a look at the indices. Um, the week started off okay. I mean, not strong, but not terrible but then by the end of the week uh wednesday thursday friday we kind of uh really just slid down the whole way um so s p was down 2.64 percent q's another bad week down almost four percent um dow was the outperformer only down almost two percent and iwm was kind of sandwiched between S and P and the Q's down a little over three uh, percent. TLT has continued to slide now down twenty percent for the year, which is horrible. I mean, this is blowing up a lot of strategies that rely on bonds to be a sort of hedge against their equity positions. But now bonds are moving down, stocks are moving down, so there's a lot of pressure on. Um, a lot of portfolios. Uh, even crude oil uh, was down this week, 4%. I mean, still up huge for the year, but the momentum has really broken in this trade. Um, so it's trying to find some find some footing to see if, uh, see if it'll resume an uptrend or um, if it's really rolling over. Um, there's gonna be a lot of downside in oil if it is, if it is rolling over here. Um, for the leadership stocks that you know we sort of watch as a barometer for the overall market bad week i mean netflix the worst performer got torched on earnings declining subscribers now for the first time in i don't know 10 years 10 or 12 years something like that facebook still has Continued moving lower, down twelve percent for the week, but this is kind of near the uh, near the lows that it um, near the lows that it had this year, which are lows for you know probably going back to pandemic times. Um, I mean, the pandemic low was much lower, but you're looking that far back to sort of start to find these these price levels. Google had a sort of outlier bad not outlier but google has started to put in some bad weeks um for a while this was the one that was kind of hanging on better than most you know at least volatility wise that it wasn't whipping as much with the nasdaq but now it's kind of in the bottom half of this performance range for for all of the for this group apple is you could say hanging on i mean 160 on apple is still still decent and it's only down nine percent for the year so aside from tesla apple's kind of been one of the better performers out of this group tesla was up on the week but um you know still well still well off its highs so yeah bad week for the leadership stocks bad week for the overall market um you really don't have any direction in the market if these are not sort of trading well um as far as our industries for the week, healthcare got smoked down seven over seven, almost seven and a half percent on a median basis. Tech, obviously, Nasdaq was down, but the median tech stock was down even more than what the what the index was. And basic materials, this is probably the worst week of the year for basic materials, down six percent on a median basis. So, like I said, the the momentum in crude the commodity has sort of cooled off and now it seems like people are looking at their holdings and asking themselves maybe why do they hold so much of this this sector um which you would expect if this was down that you might see some rotation back into other sectors but right now it looks like it's just overall liquidation you know you're just seeing selling you know broad selling um across all sectors so tech's been leading to the downside all year if basic materials are rolling over now too, then it's kind of hard to find what the what the theme is going to be for 
the rest of the year or the second half of the year um, because money has to go somewhere. I mean, you say, we say money has to go somewhere, but it's possible that, you know, there's just going to be wholesale liquidation. Exposures are going to come way down for funds. And then, you know, by the time all of that shakes out, the market's a lot lower than, you know, even what it is now, even though it's been bad so far for the whole year, for the most part, outside of a couple rallies. So, um, yeah. And breadth on the upside was non-existent. So we don't have a single sector that's up 5% on a medium basis. Um, and on the downside, we had many sectors just getting absolutely hammered. So nuclear down 17%, silver down 14, solar down 12. I mean, these are like, uh, gold down 10. These are big, big moves. So, um, we had 25. Yeah. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we had, uh, 25 plus, we had 40 sectors down, um, down over 5%, which is not the most we've ever seen, but it's, it's solid selling, um, across, across the market. And then coupling that without, with having no sectors that were on the upside, you can see there's not any rotations taking place. It's just, um, just general selling. So bad breadth coupled with the bad, um, bad market performance for, the week. Um, as far as what the breadth looked like on a market cap basis, so one to five billion cap down four um, percent, five to ten billion down three percent. Okay. Large caps ten to fifty billion range also down three percent. And 50 to 100 billion mega caps down 3.7 percent. Terra caps 100 billion plus down 3 percent. Okay, so you can see that it's it got slightly better as you went up the cap range, but really it was it was for the most part even. So 100 billion 100 billion cap is down 2.85 percent. One to five billion cap down 4 percent. That's not really that big of a spread to, to determine that, you know, one cap range was doing better than another or attracting, attracting flows more than another. So broad selling across all, all market cap ranges and all, uh, industries and sectors is, you know, that's a bad week. There's no way to really, no other way to really say it. Um, for our intelligence this week. Okay, so we're looking for, we'd be looking for an oil bounce and a natural gas bounce. So maybe the commodity trade, get some life back into it. If these two are going to be, if these two commodities are going to be top performers, then basic materials, maybe we'll, we'll follow along. Um, Okay, ultra Dow. Okay, so Dow is considered, you know, more stable and blue chip than the other the other indices. So if that's maybe that's gonna maybe the the quality names are gonna hopefully find their footing a little bit this week. And then these other ones, I'm just gonna ignore. This. Uh, yeah, rare earths, clean energy sector within NASDAQ. I mean, okay. Um, and then whatever this is something Swedish, just going to ignore that. Um, on the flip side for downside. Okay. What are we looking at for downside? So C web and CQQ uh, let's okay. So worst performers for this week. Um, consumer discretionary. Okay. Short Dow. Okay. So this is good. The short Dow is sort of mirroring the long Dow, like within, um, intelligence for stock labs. So, you know, the Dow will hopefully find some, find some better price action. Um, although we also have FNGU, so FANG rated as 
bearish. This is a bullish ETF rated bearish. So, you know, maybe the NASDAQ is still going to struggle a little bit as far as being an underperformer um, compared to the other the other indices. And OK, so short mid caps is bearish, which means mid caps should be OK. And um, what is all this? Cloud computing, bearish, so it kind of goes along with the NASDAQ being bearish. Chinese tech, um, I don't know what's been going on with the China trade. It seems like it's kind of just been banging around the the lows, um, you know, some isolated rallies here and there, but um, hasn't hasn't appeared to put in a, a trend reversal. You know, the, the trend being the one that's been taking place for a year um, to the downside. Um, okay. So overall, I mean, maybe some insights out of, out of the side of the intelligence, but overall I'd say it's, I'd say at best the setup is for choppy rather than a reversal based on this. Um, now, sort of superseding all of this is that we got a we got oversold signal on Friday for the overall market on the hybrid algo. So this 2.12 hybrid score is oversold. And um, based on this, we would expect um, a bit of a rally or like a wait, uh, 12 month oversold. Okay, so where we'd expect a little bit better price action, at least to close out the month, close out the month here. So we'll see. Um, seasonality for April was supposed to be good. You know, this is supposed to be the best month, uh, the best month of the year. And so far it's been terrible. Um, every rally has gotten faded, you know, kind of similar to this week. If there's an early week rally, it just gets sold into you know, for the end of like leading into the end of the week. Um, and yeah, it's been tough to find tough to find trends that last more than one or two days. You know, you, you kind of really have to be managing your managing positions um, in order to keep yourself out of trouble. Um, oh, we also have our contest that has one week, this will be the last week of the contest. So it ends on the 29th. Um, we have invest the best in first still from the first week, although some of these other portfolios are closing in on, um, closing in on performance. So the top three is kind of separated from the rest of the field, um, but there's still some time to make uh, make some moves. So we'll see if Tex or Lukashenko can kind of put some more heat on invest uh, coming down the stretch here for, for the contest. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, no real changes. I mean, the price action in the market has been fairly consistent. I mean, it, the right play has been to sell rallies whenever they whenever they appear. Um, although right now we may be setting up a little, another, another rally that, you know, we can hopefully make some, hopefully make some money off of. And who knows, maybe, it, maybe it is the rally that sticks. There's always, I mean, it seems like people that are bullish are always have that, have that hope that, um, you know, once things are going up, that's it, they're going up. But, you know, so far, that strategy has been punished, um, all year basically. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, just manage, manage risks, man, manage risks, manage your positions. And yeah, we'll, uh, check back in at the end of the month. Um, we'll also check back on flash quant, see how that did and, um, talk to you guys later. Thanks for dropping by.